this video is going to be a message to Mrs. Portland. And I know it's, you know, tit for tat. And I said I was going to move on from this woman because I did not want my channel to be a back and forth tit for tat. That's not what I'm about. But I do believe when lies are being said, you have a right to defend yourself. You do. And when you are in, quote, a drama community, I am a part of it. You know, things are going to be sad. you got to have tough skin, right? But if lies are put out there about you, you do have a right to say something. Even if it's, you know, Mrs. Portland, you still have a right to say something. And, you know, I've been busy today and I didn't watch anything that she did. But I was told in my comments, you know, that she said something, you know, about me. So, of, of course, you know, out of curiosity, I went ahead and went and listened to see what she, and I, I skipped through. I wasn't going to go watch all of her video. So I skipped through to find out, you know, human nature, right? So I'm only going to point out two different things. You know, I do have to say... You know, congratulations, Mrs. Portland. You're doing really good interacting with your viewers. And the way that you are, you're doing great. That's what your people want to see. They want to see a nice Mrs. Portland, you know, um, interacting with her people, with her community. That's what people want to see. Now, we're going to get to you lying all right. For one, I'm not a hate channel. Um, in my description, okay, I said that I'm interested in human behavior on social media. I have talked about other creators, and I will be talking about different creators as well as I go on. But right now, you seem to be the, the topic, right? So, um, you're not the only one I've talked about. And I have not said horrible things about you. I'm not a hate channel. I've already said that. I have not made fun of you. I have not uh, cussed at you. I have not made um, nasty videos about you. Okay. I even gave you compliments. But I did um, say that you needed to stop with the nasty behavior, and I did point out lies, all right? And you yourself know what you have done. I mean, it's all out there on videos. So to say that I'm a, a hate channel, and um, this isn't a community, okay? I don't have a community. The people that that are over here or that are subbed to me and I appreciate everybody that has came in here are from everybody's community. Even some of the people that I have talked about, people have came over here and they might not even have subbed to me, but they have came over here and uh, from what I've seen, most everybody has been pretty civil, but they're from everybody else's community. This is not... I, I don't have a community here, okay? And I've already said that before. I'm not, I'm not going to ever say this is my community. Um, everybody is in different communities, and they just come here, and they'll chit-chat back and forth. And I do other things as well. I know I haven't been lately. I did do a cooking video that I've already stated in my last video. I accidentally took down myself. And I'm going to be doing um, those bath bombs. I was going to try to get to it today, but I just, I got busy and didn't get them done today. And I'm going to do a few more craft things um, before I dig in and do anything else. But anyways, I do other things on this, on this channel. But I'm not a community. 
Okay. And I'm not a hate channel. I don't cuss. Well, yeah, I do a little bit, but I don't sit there and call anybody names. I don't body shame. I don't make fun of anybody. All right. So I just want to make that clear. And she's sitting there again, calling me this cashmere. And I, I, I already put that to rest. And I know people are, might be saying, you know, it's no big deal. But this is the thing, Mrs. P. You are a creator now with a, a channel that has grown, even if you bought the subs. And I'm sorry, but your channel did not grow like it's growing now on your own merit. Okay? I'm sorry. You bought more subs. I, I'm just going to say it. It's my opinion um, I know people said to go over and look on this one thing. I'm not, I can't even remember it now, but they know more about it than I do to know that you are not growing it on your own merits. Okay. You do have a lot of people in there that I think, um, actually are enjoying you. Okay. And that is on your merit, but you're not growing it on your own merit. Okay. Uh, you're buying subs, plain and simple. Uh, you already admitted to that, and in my opinion, you bought more. I don't care. Um, that's your business. If that's how you want to grow your channel, that's fine. Um, you know, in the the end game here is you want to make money, and I support anybody because I consider it like small businesses, right? And I support anybody that is trying to better themselves and a small business. Um, you know, you have a lot of people that are on disability, single moms, um, you know, that are trying to make money off of this. And I support that 100%. All right. Have no beef with that at all. And but the thing is, you know, when you're buying subs, you can get monetized, I think. I, I don't know. But you have to have a strong community because when you get monetized from what people are telling me, you know, I'm new at this, so, you know, I, I have no clue. But that you don't make jack off of being monetized. Where you're get, going to get the money is having a strong community that gives you super chats and you get those monthly memberships, okay? Or, you know, um, you do the PayPal or whatever. That's where your money's going to come in. But, but mainly the super chats and the monthly memberships. So you really got to have a, you know, strong community. And you're not going to get that when you have, when you buy the subs, because they're not going to be the ones that um, give you that money. So when you're monetized, you get a little bit of money, not much from what people are saying, you know, so being monetized doesn't mean jack. Um, so anyways, you have to build that relationship. And hopefully you can do that if you're being the way you are now. But let's get back to the lie, okay? You're telling people, and I did find it because I'm skipping through because I, I don't want to hear your video. I don't want to, I want to move on from you, all right? Because you're doing well right now. But you're calling me cashmere yet again. Now, I already squashed this lie once, and it really shouldn't mean anything, but like I said again, you are a creator now, and you are building your channel however you built it, okay? And you have to make sure you don't put out lies. You got to fact check stuff. You got to vet them before you put out stuff, all right? And it might not seem like a, a big deal, but there is a person out there that is actually cashmere that uses that username that shouldn't be connected to my channel. 
Now, I already put out the proof or said the proof, all right, that I am not this cashmere. And now you have a mod that should know because she was over in Natasha's community as well. And this cashmere was on Natasha's panel. Now, I know Natasha made a lot of her videos to private, but this cashmere was also, the way I found her, on Scarlett's panel. And if you go to Scarlett's, this cashmere, the video is still up, okay? And the cashmere is speaking. And you can tell by the way we speak, we sound nothing alike, all right? Cashmere sounds like she's about the age of my daughter. Mrs. P, I'm only a couple of years younger than you. Cashmere sounds like she's about the age of my daughter, if not younger. And you can also tell we sound nothing alike. Now, I do know that when you were in Natasha's community, a few people came to you and told you that they thought I was cashmere because this cashmere person was, I guess, getting information or was pretending to be people's friends and was jumping to panel to panel or something like that because she was interested in human behavior. And so that's why they got the idea. And I can kind of understand that. But she used to be in Natasha's community. I've already said I have never been in anybody's community ever. I've never been a part of anybody's community. And I've never, ever been on anybody's panel ever. All right. I don't even know how to do live stream yet, or you wouldn't be looking at a fireplace. You would be looking at my little avatar bubble, whatever you want to call it. So again, you can go to Scarlett's video and you can hear cashmere, but you're telling your community even though I've already put this to rest once, and I know you, you've you watched my videos, okay? When I said that I'm not cashmere, Mrs. Portland, but you're telling your community that cashmere's new channel is Stargazer. And your mod that was in Natasha's community, I am sure she has heard cashmere up on panel and knows that it's not me so you need to vet stuff before you put it out there because you mrs portland are a creator and now you need to now vet stuff before you put it out there and lie i mean we know you're good at lying but you need to stop it I'm not cashmere. I've already squashed that once. All right. Again, whoever this cashmere is, she's a lot younger than me. You can tell by her voice. And as a matter of fact, I've already made it clear before that she speaks a lot better than I do. Okay. She doesn't um, jumble her words up. You can tell she's very well spoken. So, quit your lying. Somebody told you that because they thought at the time, because of what this cashmere was interested in, that I could be the same person. But her voice is out there already on videos. Go do your research, Mrs. P. You got plenty of time to do it. And stop putting out your lies. Quit lying on people because stuff like this is what's going to take your channel down. All right. I know this is just a little small lie. Okay. Just a little small one. But, you know, I, it's not, it's not really a big deal 
It really isn't. But, you know, you want to sit there and cry about people talking about you. What are you doing on your channel? You're talking about other people, but you want them to shut up about you. You're going on and on and on about Natasha again. About everything that she's doing. I don't get it. But you don't want nobody to talk about you. But it's okay. It's okay for you to talk about other people. And again, there goes with your, your apologies, but the buts. Okay? The buts. And then you did a big no-no, and somebody pointed it out, and then that's where I stopped. After I found out, you know, what you were saying about me, and like I said, you know, it's no big deal. You lied, okay? It was already pointed out that I'm not cashmere. I never even, I said that before, I never even heard that name before when this was brought up. When you were in Natasha's community, I had to find out, find this video, find out what she sounded like. I found it, found who she was or what she sounded like. The video still up. But. You. did another thing tonight that you had no right to do and someone pointed it out you docked somebody's address you got a package back of somebody that you know you you're calling your old community every name in the book and see that's the thing just because you're mad at a community doesn't mean that everybody that's in that community are spiteful, okay? Just because, um, how do I put this? Just because somebody, every, everybody's not lumped in to, to one category because they like a creator, all right? I don't get that mentality, but somebody sent, who happened to be Natasha's sister, sent their package back and you just had to show it in the cam, you know, to the camera. And you know, people got screenshots of that, right? Okay. And it has her address on it. You can't do that. You cannot do that. That is dangerous. That is so dangerous. I've said this before. You don't know who these people are that are in your new community and what their mental health is. And now they have their address. You don't know if they live near her. And if they think, oh my gosh, you know, she's bullying this woman with disabilities or she's bullying this new person that I just adore. And she sent this package back. For one, you don't know if this person broke that glass or the, that frame or if it happened at the post office. You don't know how many things I have gotten from Amazon or things that I've ordered that was broke, okay? You have no idea. But you had to show it. Show in her address. And you had one person in there that said, Mrs. P, you just showed that person's address. You need to fix it immediately. And your response was to that person, if you don't like what I do in my channel, then you need to leave. That person was trying to tell you what you did was basically illegal. 
because you dox them. You can't do that. You are a creator now on YouTube. You cannot do stuff like that. I mean, you still call me cashmere, whatever. No big deal. Okay? I I'm just squashing the lie. Okay? I'm not cashmere. So, you could tell your people, I'm not. Go vet it. All right? But what you did, showing that person's address, and then when you... When someone pointed it out to you that to fix that immediately, and you told them, Well, if you don't like what I do on my channel, stuff like that is going to get you taken down. And when you said, Well, I'll just make another channel, you don't get it. If you get banned, okay, you can't make another channel. You can't. Is it worth it? I mean, you got to do your research, Mrs. P. You can't do stuff like that. And not only that, you're putting that person in danger. You can't be doing crap like that. What is wrong with you? Now, just because some people point out or they might do a video on you, I mean, again, you're sitting over on your channel talking crap, all right? So what are you? You're a hate channel. Welcome to the club, honey. Welcome to the club. You want to call everybody else a hate channel? And then after all the crap that you talked about all these other people and then you're like, well, you can come over to my channel. You're welcome. Really? You think they're going to come over to your channel now after everything that you did to them? I mean, if they do, more power to them. But you're a big hate channel. And then you want to, like, tell me to suck on some, you know what? No, thank you, honey. You have turned into a hate channel, okay? Because I don't talk like you do. You want to call me a hate channel? Seriously? You won't hear me talking about people the way you talk about people. And I've talked about other creators about behaviors, all right? But you won't hear me talking about others and you have body shamed other people. Yeah, you have. You won't ever, ever hear me body shaming anybody. You will never hear me cussing anybody out. You will never hear me making fun of anybody. So who's a hate channel, Mrs. P? You will never hear me lying on anybody. Now, will I make a mistake? Oh yeah, I'm human. If somebody corrects me, I will admit I, I was wrong about that. Because I'm human. And I'll own it. But if I make an apology because I, I, I made a mistake, I won't ever say, but. You won't hear a but after it. You won't hear me saying, well, I was attacked, so I'm going to go attack somebody else. You're, I'm not going to ever attack anybody. And I'm not attacking you. I will never make threats to anybody. Because I'm not a hate channel. I'm not an awareness channel. All I'm doing is talking about the behaviors I see. 
And I'm not just targeting you. Right now, this is the behaviors I'm uh, that I'm seeing. And I'm going to be moving on. I'm not making, you know, uh, little clip videos or whatever. You know, that's that's not what I do. And I'm not attacking your disabilities. What I talked about was stuff you've put out there yourself, okay? But again, Mrs. P, you got to be careful on what you say. You're a creator now. You don't vet anything, nothing. You just spew it out of your mouth without checking it out. And I'm telling you, it's either going to A, get you in legal trouble, or B, you're going to be taken off of YouTube and you won't be able to get another channel. You won't. Not in your name. And like I said before, you can buy all the subs you want to buy, but unless you get a tight community, okay? Unless you get a tight community, being monetized isn't going to get you crap. It's not. So I'm going to end it there. And, you know, if you're going to keep talking about other people, if you're going to keep talking and bashing other people because that's what you're doing. You're doing it on your channel. Then they have every right to do it on their channel. And you can't sit there and cry and whine. Because you've been doing it. For what? Two weeks now? Constantly. Two weeks. Well... Take that back. You've been doing it actually for three months. But you've had some good moments. Okay? You've had some good moments. But you did do do good. Now I, I skipped through. I skipped through and I it was just your your last video that you did. I, I skipped through it because you know, curiosity, you know, when you're talked about kind of curiosity. But I don't care what you say about me anymore. You know, I don't. All I'm saying, I, I'm just giving you some advice. You need to vet your crap, okay? And you can't put out people's addresses like you did. That's all I got to say. You know, good luck with your channel. I hope you keep growing and good luck with your coloring and hopefully you keep treating people, your community. I hope you keep treating them good, but just quit lying on people and quit putting out, quit doxing people. All right. That's all I got to say.